We're here with Julio. How are you today? I'm chilling, How are you man. chilling. Happy yeah. to be here. Any new projects, potential future projects that you're looking forward to? Um, yeah, me and Diego are writing a bare knuckle boxing movie, so um, okay. that's been fun training on that. Uh, I like watching sports. I don't follow or watch. <laughs> I really like actually yeah, watch yeah, any yeah, of them, yeah. but I like watch like you know experiences. So I thought you know let's go with fighting, let's go with visceral, let's go, let's take the gloves off. Um, so you know this whole experience with Diego has been great. Now I gotta ask you about on my blog. Yeah, I, I've watched all seasons with my sister holding the camera. Now I have a question. The way that your character died spooky, would you somehow, some way go back to the future and change the way that your character was, was killed off? I wouldn't. I, I there was a there was a version where we said what happened and who did it. And it was a conversation that we had and it was uh, I like the idea of us just kind of leaving it open ended and having uh, Caesar have his own future without just you know, if I told him anything or if you know Oscar told him anything He's just gonna go down that path again. So I, I really like where we ended it. How we ended it. Who would you want to play in the future as a potential superhero if you had the chance to? There's so many, but um, there's an obscure character called Masacre, which is the Mexican Deadpool. He's a has a kind of like uh, the same background as uh, the Punisher, but then uh, when his family gets off, you know, he has this like uh, psychic break and he sees a poster of Deadpool, so he starts to imitate him. Uh, but in Spanish, and it's kind of like yeah. this Don Quixote story, so that's, yeah. that's what I want to be. I would love to see you in that. That, that would actually yeah. be a great opportunity to, yeah, to man. see you in that. Um, last question, you listen to Spanish music? Yeah. Beso Pluma or Bad Bunny? Beso Pluma, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Okay, now there's this beef going on between Beso Pluma and J.O.P. from Fresa okay. de Gila. Uh -huh. What do you gotta say about that? Just you know, Rasa, Gila, um, Rasa together. I'm saying let's let's uh, let's squash whatever's going down. I'm sure that people got you know their own opinions and their own sides, but we're all making music. We're, I mean, I'm, no, I'm not making music, <laughs> but you know, we all want to listen to this music. We all want to see it uh, build, bring and uh, build and bring the community together. So whatever it is, squash it and drop a track. Last question. Now, if you had to choose between Beso Bluma and JOP, who would you choose? Music wise, music wise. Pedro Infante. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Alex.